obviously two of the major um, medical conditions that the, the military is concerned about are traumatic brain injury and uh, PTSD. And there's been a lot of debate as to what the relationship between the two actually are. Um, there was one, most of the research has been from civilian um, cases of mild brain injury or concussion uh, and looking at sort of who develops these post-injury uh, symptoms. So there's a lot of overlap clinically in terms of the symptoms people have from the post-concussion syndrome as well as from mental health disorders. And sorting it out obviously takes often a team of professionals examining this, the wounded service member. In terms of the direct link, there's um, no direct link right now that a TBI actually causes PTSD. Um, the risk of developing PTSD in some studies appears to be higher after you've had a concussion, whereas in others there's, it seems to be no greater than um, the average person might have. So there's a, still a lot of debate as to what, whether the symptoms truly sort of result from the concussion or not. Uh, people can have both a history of concussion as well as develop PTSD later on. And uh, clearly the medical professionals that you see uh, as a wounded service member um, will help guide the care that you need. And they will tailor the care based upon your individual symptoms and treating those in, in particular.